We did it. We did it. Now you may not have seen this because it was on a previous mission I did. Because I wanted to get a little bit further in before we actually. Here we go. Hello and welcome to Ruse, as I'm going to be going through the single player campaign and I've actually jumped two or three missions that were really basic and you probably saw a little bit of an overview of those from the uh, preview mission video. You know what I mean. That we put up. So let's jump in and have a look at this one. This is going to be the fourth one. We're still basically on the tutorial and I'll be quiet Colonel for this Campbell, I wasn't sure scene. I'd ever see you again. Believe me sir, I'm as happy as you are. May I present Major Sheridan, 1st Armoured Division. Sir! Very well done at Catherine Sheridan. I just wish I could have been there to handle things myself. It's lucky I saw the opportunity and sent Colonel Campbell to help you out. Sir? The important thing is that we stop them. This is Rommel's high watermark. Now it's time to roll them back. Are you ready to help, Major? Hell yes, sir! Just one thing, General. Uh, given Sheridan's role in the future, Perhaps Major is not appropriate. <laughs> of course. <clears throat> Lieutenant Colonel Sheridan, congratulations on your promotion. You got the attitude and the talent that we need to finish this war. I'll have them do the paperwork immediately. Sir, yes, sir. I'm looking forward to doing more of the same, sir. <laughs> Too fucking right. Rommel has pulled most of his troops back to face Montgomery in the south. The main thrust of the offensive will be the 1st Infantry Division from the north, with my combat command leading. Sir, HQ requests that we support our free French allies, bypassing the enemy positions at uh, C.D. Ike. So basically I'm taking the frogs for a walk. The Italians still have armor, Colonel. Enough to keep us busy. Besides, General Weatherby's plan is not without its flaws. Attacking the Jerry's head-on in a canyon is, um... Daring, sir? I was more thinking of foolish, Captain Kowalski. Very well, Lieutenant Colonel. It's time to take the initiative. Okay. So we have to reach that objective. And we've actually got two ruse points These up here. These aren't the sturdiest tanks, but they compensate by being fast. Okay, so the Stuart tanks armed with a short-range gun. They can fire while they're moving, but they can't go into the woods. Uh, right, as I was saying before, up here we do have a couple of ruses, including this one. And we can reveal all the enemy's orders within a sector for five minutes. So I'm going to select that and put it in, let me zoom out, this sector, because this is the area that we're going to be moving up into. Now any movement within those areas, we'll be able to see it. Also, if we click on a unit down here, such as the Stuart tank, and we click the tab key, we can get a little bit of information about the Stuart tank in here and also uh, its effectiveness against infantry, light vehicles, buildings and so forth and so forth and I think these are as they get veterancy um, and they all seem to be weak against aircraft and uh, these I presume are hit points so that's one way of looking at the information we can do so let's get our tanks down here and I'm going to push them up into this area I'm just going to push them up until they can just about see that these units up here well, there we go, these are our Stuart tanks. Fast moving vehicles, these. I do wish the game was a little bit slower paced, just to add a little bit more realism. As you can see, they are moving out quite nicely. Now, they're infantry, so. Very easy. We're going to take these out. Ah, just going to annihilate them. Now what I think I might do is, I'm going to, um, tanks are fast, but are lightly armoured. Tanks may fire while moving, but with decreased accuracy. Okay, so I'm going to move you two. Okay, and my graphics have gone apeshit. What the hell? Excuse me for a second. Just had to go into the menu and come back out and it's reset itself, so I don't know what that was about. So I'm actually going to separate these two units here. And then we can get an idea of what's actually it. It's an unidentified heavy unit. Okay. 
as we can see from here, they haven't actually got a line of sight at that position. But it also means that we can move up our tanks, actually. I'm going to move them here. Keep you on this side. Four against one should be child's play. Very easy. Okay. Should actually take one of our vehicles out. Or it's damaged, should I say. Nice and easy. Okay, now I'm going to move. Whoa, look at this over here. Flame tanks. Nice. Right, so obviously we're not ready for that. Right, now I want these guys to not move now. Because these vehicles are approaching us and we get more accuracy by not moving. I'm just going to wait until they're Two identified. Straight ahead, sir. There we go. I'm going to tell them to fire at this. I wanted them to stay in position. Hold down the button to select a unit within a rectangle. Okay, I don't know what that means. I'm going to hold that. Hold down a unit to go into a rectangle. Sir, we have a German medium tank straight ahead. That doesn't seem to have done anything. I'm holding it down. What's happening? Right, well, I didn't quite understand that. Is it one unit? If I hold it down, does that give me a... No. Can I get these guys to... No. Right, well, I've got no idea what that does. If anybody can tell me what that what that little... If I want them to face a certain way, they don't seem to, uh, doesn't seem to make any difference. All right, but anyway, let's move on up, and we should have a look at that later. So let's get these guys up. We've now got three ruses. Actually, it's the same one. I'm just going to refresh it on this one. So I can see what's up there. And we've got no surprises coming in from this area. And we're going to get you to move to here. I don't want to rush in too much here. Uh, what we got here? Four. That's mm. a hard target, Lieutenant Colonel. Concentrate your fire on it. Okay. It's a medium tank. Okay, it's taking fire at us. Maybe four, four of these sh should be able to take that out. Shit, taking damage. Right now, this guy's in route. He's actually fleeing backwards for, to protect himself, and now we've actually lost control of that vehicle now until he's settled down and emptied his pants of shite. Bullseye, Colonel. Nice one. I had the feeling you'd be good at blowing things up. All right, okay, Stuart Tank is still rooted. Head to the new position, man. I want you to move up to this position. Come on, move. Okay. And now if we put them on the road here, we can approach without being seen. So what I might do is uh, move them up and then I'm going to split them as we get a little bit further in towards towards the town. Two pounds of force counter-attacking. Pull back, Sheridan. You don't have the firepower to take them on. Okay, move back. Quick, 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 quick. Right, now these are unknown because we haven't actually seen them, so that's why um, they're actually like that. A battalion of Lee tanks is joining us. They'll help us take care of the enemy armor. Excellent. Let's get rid of those panzers. Armed with medium range gun. Can fire while moving. Let's click on one again. Okay, yep. Okay. So if we actually um, just get these guys to hold here a minute. If we click on this one, the light tank, I can see... Our armor piece and heat shells is 250 meters. Now with uh, this one, still 250, so it looks like they've got the same range. Same range, but they have got 6121. 
Uh, yeah. So they've got a lot more damage against vehicles um, here. So I'm actually going to move these, I think. Okay, oh, it won't let me. Okay. I'm going to move you. You two over there. I want you two over there. Light tanks move up at the rear. And then we're going to move the light tanks up behind. Wow, they're quite powerful. Come on guys, help them out. Well, she may lose some tanks here. Light tanks, move back. Okay. That's those down. And have we got any rooted vehicles back here? No. Okay. Heavy tanks. I want you to continue to take that out. And then we're going to use the Stuart tanks to take this infantry out. Uh, by moving them here. Yes, we are. Froggy, froggy. Combat Command B, Colonel Leduc. What happened to General Wellworth? He's been killed. They're running right over us. The Italians weren't supposed to have this kind of strength. Our offensive has been altered. Repeat, we have been stopped. Leduc out. There's something wrong. That's not what headquarters said. Agreed, Captain Kowalski. But we could forge our own opinion by sending operatives behind their lines. You mean spies, sir? If you want to be simple, Kowalski, it's your decision, Colonel. Well done, Colonel. Your new rank suits you well. Spies can expose the enemy units in the sector, but broadcasts are short because the Jerry's track them down. Okay. Not sure why the camera zoomed out over there, but anyway, thanks for that. Uh, okay, so we've come up to the ruse. Reveals all unidentified units in the sector. Now, uh, it looks like it's only going to let me do it on. I'll do it on this one. Yes, ah, I'm there, and now we can see what these units are. Interesting. So we've got quite a lot of infantry. By Jove, they were waiting for us. Mm, they're pack guns. They'd wipe out our tanks instantly. We have a strong anti-tank line set up. Nothing with treads will get across there. We need infantry to take those guns out. I'll get headquarters on the line and request engineers to build us a base. We'll take City Aish, right here, and wait until the forward base is operational. Then we'll finish the Italians once and for all. Let Leduc know what's coming, okay? Hold tight, Lieutenant Colonel. The engineers should be here shortly. Sir, Intel reports enemy movement towards CD Ike. Hardly surprising. You have to hold the line, Colonel. And okay. remember, it's better to have our medium tanks taking the hits than our light ones. Okay, I'm gonna get two heavy tanks there. That's a medium tank. I'm gonna get you here. That's a Stuart light tank. I'm gonna keep you back. And we're going to get you here as well. Light tank, we're going to spread you out. So you have got a little bit of coverage, I think. Yeah, like so. Let's see how we get on with that. Let's um, keep that on there so I can see what's happening. Right, so the light tank. I want the light tank to take that infantry out. Of 
Come on, check them out. Nice, and we've got some armor coming here, so it's so I'll move you back. doing on this side. Whoa. Quite a bit going on here. Just a few more minutes, Colonel. The engineers are almost there. Let's take the tank. Yep. Yeah. Nice. Both these are now rooted. <laughs> right, what have we got here? Stuart Light Tank. They are not really going to last that long. Uh, I need you to take that out. In fact, if we've got any more, I want you to take those guys out. Stuart Tank, move back. Also get the Stuart Light tank back. Get you guys back because you're quite vulnerable. Yeah, come on guys. Check that out. Come on guys, check them out. Come on, don't let up. Check it out. Nice. The engineers are here. They're building a barracks in the forward area. Perfect. We'll take the headquarters here. That'll cut the head off the snake that's hissing at Colonel Leduc. Okay. Okay, so looks like we've got, got some armor coming in here. And able. Excellent news. They're the only units we have who can neutralize their AT guns. Need you at this side. Oh god, we've got armor coming in this side as well. Ah, uh, no. These are light infantry, which means they haven't got any, um... Oh, they haven't got any AT weapons. Shit, we're in trouble here now. Um... So these are uh, light tanks. Okay. You need to take them out. Literally get. So I'm going to get the infantry to move up and take these guys out. Quite a battle going on in here. Right, well, they're all rooting. Just gonna have to watch out for any tanks coming in this end. Uh, what I might do is take one heavy tank with me and one light tank, I think. Just to give this infantry a little bit of uh, backup. Yeah, you guys, take that out. Looks like they've got some more coming in as well. Yeah, get this light tank. Take them out. Get the heavy tank there as well. I don't want you to move up. So these guys have got a little bit more cover. Let's just split, split them up a little bit. Right, and now we've got some um, some heavies moving on this side. Uh, guys, you get down there. I know we're doing on this side. Right, I'm going to move you guys here. Oh shit! 
you guys get out of here quick. Or they get wiped out. Gotta watch this guy here. You two. Took care of that. These guys should, in theory. Ah, I've got to watch out here. I don't want you guys to move from there. I need to get the. Uh... Oh, he's basically done. Right, I need you two no closer than that. I need you over there, and we're going to have to go in up here with infantry. So, you guys, we're all going to go in together. And we'll get some spies in as well. Spies now sir. Right. Infantry, I want you here. Then I'm going to counter-attack this. And I may get the... I uh, may get you guys. No, I can't. Okay. Just wondering whether these are going to attack the infantry. Maybe not. Come on, guys, get over there. New rooms, eh? Come on, guys. Want them to attack? How is it going to? a good idea to reactivate our spy network, Colonel. Our spy has left the sector, sir. Yeah, pack 36. So it's not actually going to attack the infantry here. Which means I can move the armor up here. And hopefully that's not going to affect us. Come on, guys. Check that out. All enemy AT guns have been taken out. Okay, that one's losing by the looks of it. Yeah, nice one. Right, lads. Wait to pull back. Oh shit. Excellent. Their headquarters is ours. Hopefully we might get some new units then. Well that wasn't too bad, was it? That's part of the campaign for Ruse, and that was number four, the Wild Bunch. And as I mentioned before, a little bit, um, a little bit further into the campaign than starting at the beginning. But thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you want more, and I'll see you in the next episode, number five. See you later. Bye bye.